Kevin, thanks. The effort to find missing IU student Lauren Spear continues despite no new leads in the high profile case. But nearly two years after she vanished, there's a renewed push for information to bring Lauren home. RTV6 reporter Chris Prophet has the story from Bloomington. By now, her story is well known the tragic disappearance of a young co ed. And from another tragic event, the effort to keep her face fresh before the public is renewed. Help us find Lauren. It's been nearly two years since Lauren Spear vanished after a night out with friends. The then 20 year old would have graduated this year from Indiana University. Someone needs to come forward and do the right thing. And while her parents are still trying to keep the case public, there's been no new developments. Our efforts will not cease. These billboards in Bloomington have faded like the publicity that once surrounded the case. Basically, we had them all done probably in about three days' time, start to finish. Until firefighter Lee Chapman got an idea after his 22-year-old son, Robert, was killed in a car accident. And, and I made a promise to my son that I was going to do something special. Using mostly donated materials, Lee and his fellow firefighters... <laughs> 20 large wooden frame signs to replace Lauren's aging and weathered billboards around the city. And they will go all over town and put seven out in some distinct areas so that people coming into town for a little 500 would see them. And then they, all 20 of them will be out uh, before graduation because she would have graduated this year. The firefighters say that Lauren's parents, Robert and Charlene, now back in New York, are grateful for the effort to keep Lauren's case alive, even though they admit giving up hope that their daughter is alive. I've got closure. I know where my son is. You don't. And, you know, as hard as it is for me, I can't imagine what it's like for them. Out of his own tragic loss, Lee Chapman was inspired to help another grieving parent so that these faded signs don't become just a memory. Chris Prophet, RTV6.